The planets of our solar system and their characteristics are well known. However, in the infinite expanses of the universe, there are far stranger celestial bodies orbiting a central star, which are also classified as so-called exoplanets due to their size and position. If you would like to leave Earth with us to travel to the farthest reaches of the cosmos, then show us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. Let's begin our journey to the most mysterious planets. Kepler 10c, actually much too big. The planet, which is 560 light years away from Earth, is actually too large for a classical planet, since its mass of about 17 Earth masses exceeds this classification. The special thing about Kepler 10c, however, is that it is mostly made of rock and not, as is usual for its size, of gas. This is all the more astonishing, since according to the conventional theory, a celestial body of its size should not form at all. Well, it does exist, and today's research has introduced the term Mega-Earth for such formations. Trace 2b, the Dark One It is one of the darkest planets ever observed. The planet, 750 light-years away, is commonly referred to as a black lump, albeit of the size of Jupiter, because it reflects less than 1% of the light from its home sun. The reasons for its light-absorbing properties could be evaporating sodium, potassium, or titanium oxide. Nevertheless, it is still not possible to explain why it is so shrouded in blackness. One possible explanation could be that Trace 2b always turns only one side towards the star during its orbit. GJ504b, Magenta. Here we have a candidate who could be sponsored by Deutsche Telekom. He glows in a deep magenta. Only 57 light-years away from Earth, but four times as large as Jupiter, it is located with its central star in a solar system that is relatively young at just 160 million years old. For us humanoids, the habitat on GJ504b is conceivably unfavorable, since it is located extremely far outside the habitable zone. J1407b, Lord of the Rings. This is a real blast. It has a ring system approximately 200 times larger than that of Saturn. Each of the 30 rings known so far has a diameter of several tens of millions of kilometers. In addition, it also weighs quite a bit, about the sum of 40 Jupiter masses. Due to the sheer mass of its ring system, almost no light reaches the planet, even on a daily basis. By our standards, a solar eclipse would last several weeks. Lease 436b, like a comet. Similar to Neptune, it has a comet-like tail behind it. Its star is only 33 light-years away from us, and Lease 436b orbits it in just under 4.3 million kilometers. Because of this proximity, it permanently loses its atmosphere, which causes an enormous hydrogen tail. Every second, it loses about 100 to 1,000 tons of hydrogen. If its central star were only slightly larger, it would probably dissolve in the gravitational pull of its star. The reason why this will not happen in the foreseeable future is that the star's radiation is about a quarter weaker than that of our sun. WASP-12b, the hot one. WASP-12b is 1,400 light-years away from Earth and is slightly larger than Jupiter, but orbits its star at breakneck speed in just over a day. All this despite its size of about 1.4 Jupiter masses. Because of this infernal speed, it has almost taken on the shape of an egg. It also has inhospitable temperatures of about 2,500 degrees Celsius. This is because it always presents the same side when orbiting its sun. Its home star pulls and tugs at it quite aggressively, and scientists give it only 10 million years before it is completely absorbed by its star. HD 106 906b, a youngster. 11 times the size of Jupiter, 300 light years away from us, quite cold, and an immense distance from its central star at 650 times the distance between Earth and the Sun, this planet falls out of all previously accepted planetary models. 
Its process of development is puzzling, as such constellations tend to develop as double star systems, and certainly not in such a relatively short time of just 13 million years. Also, the huge distance to its sun does not fit to its weight ratio, which is 1 100th. Similar constellations investigated so far show a ratio of 1 10th. Gliese 581c, a potential candidate. And another Gliese. Discovered in 2007, and only 20 light years away from Earth, it is interesting to note that both Gliese's central star and our Earth are estimated to be about the same age, about 4.5 billion years old. Located very close to its central star, it therefore needs only 13 Earth days for one orbit. One side is permanently facing its star, just as our moon always offers us the same view. It is in the habitable zone, and it was previously thought that there might be liquid water on its surface, making it an object of desire for astronomers. In the meantime, however, it is assumed that it is probably too hot for Earth-like forms, and that the atmospheric conditions are more in the direction of Venus. HD 188-753 Simply spectacular. Here we have a classic triple star system, and one of the first to host a planet. About 149 light years from Earth, HD 188-753 orbits its star in only 3.3 days. The astonishing thing about it is that it used to move towards the star in a spiral motion, but now it has taken a relatively stable orbit. Due to the common theories, this planet should never have formed. To put it bluntly, one would have expected it to be torn apart by its surrounding stars. Since this is not the case, one assumes that a nearby passing star freed the planet from its captivity. GJ 1214b, the one with the other water. GJ 1214b, only 42 light years away, would be an ideal candidate for a classical exoplanet. Its density and enormous water reserves seem to confirm this. However, a surface temperature of over 200 degrees Celsius plays against this. A large part of its mass consists of water, much more than the Earth, but not comparable to our water. It could consist of states of matter, such as hot ice and superfluid water, that are not known on Earth. 55. Cancri E, the diamond. Located in a double star system and about twice the size of the Earth, it eventually came into the sights of astronomers. All the suspicious elements like hydrogen, carbon, iron, and silicon were spotted. However, 55 Cancri E is very close to its sun and orbits it in only 18 hours. Also, the surface temperature of 2,700 degrees Celsius is extremely high. But this has led to the assumption that due to the high carbon-oxygen ratio, the planet could be a real jewel. Because of the high temperatures and the enormous pressure, a theory was put forward that enormous amounts of graphite, and specifically diamonds, might be lying dormant under the surface. WASP 17b, the lightweight. This planet has the lowest density of any discovered so far. It is a true gas giant with a diameter twice as large as Jupiter, but only half as heavy as our own. At a distance of about 1,000 light years from Earth, it orbits its home star in a retrograde manner, which is to say, against the usual direction of rotation. When it was formed, it was probably caused by a near collision with another massive star. HAT P 7b, the sparkling one. Like its home star, which is 50 times larger than our Sun, HATP 7b itself is quite respectable. 1.5 times larger and almost twice as heavy as Jupiter, it is also in a declining orbit. But what's really fascinating is that it has some semblance of weather. Strong winds create an impressive spectacle with ruby and sapphire colored clouds, which are caused by a high corundum content. 2 MASS J. 2126, 8140, a cross-country skier. It is only 100 light years away, but with about 13 to 15 Jupiter masses, it is almost so big that it is already at the border of a brown dwarf. Its home star is a small red dwarf, and between the two lies 7,000 times the distance between Earth and the Sun. This also explains its late discovery. For one orbit, 2 MASS J2126, 8140, needs about 900,000 years to complete. K. 
Kepler 438b, the most Earth-like but doomed to die. About as big as the Earth, in the habitable zone, its orbits pulling and with a surface temperature of 3 to 10 degrees Celsius, it is one of the planets most similar to Earth were it not for its host star. It is much darker and cooler than our Sun, but like all red giants, it inflates itself inexorably. Since Kepler 438b passes quite nearby, its mother star will have absorbed it in a cosmic blink of an eye in just 200 million years. We are facing a similar scenario, but we still have 5 billion years to go. If you have any hints, experiences, or suggestions on this specific topic, don't hesitate to share in the comments section below. See you soon!